We are back with breaking news now from my day job covering the White House. And this is a fascinating personnel shift with a familiar name to anybody who is watching this show right now. That name is Hope Hicks. And that shift is that she is now apparently coming back to the White House. Let me go back to NBC's Kelly O'Donnell, who is joining me now from there. And Kelly, this is now being confirmed um, by, by, I believe, a, a senior official that we've talked to, right? Yes, and we have statements from Jared Kushner and Stephanie Grisham that Hope Hicks, who, remember, was one of the originals in 2016. Yes. She had come out of the Trump organization and had been in the uh, New York world of Donald Trump as a businessman, a candidate, and then president. Uh, she left the White House and was also a part of the investigations and went through some lengthy days on Capitol Hill providing testimony. She had been uh, around the president at the time that one of the key pieces of information during the Russia investigation, if you recall the meeting of uh, Donald Trump Jr. with some Russian officials at Trump Tower, and then the president was participating in crafting a message about that meeting when that first became public. She had been part of that in her work at the time as communications director uh, at the White House. She, is, uh, she left, went back to private life, is returning, not in the communication shop, which, uh, for those of us in our line of work, Hallie, uh, is not really a surprise because she never appeared uh, on camera and did not really speak to the press in a public sense uh, the way communications uh, directors typically do. That pattern was followed by Stephanie Grisham, who is often not available on camera. Uh, but this is a sign that loyalty and relationship uh, matter to this president, even if it doesn't go both ways, as we sometimes see. Mm. But Hope Hicks is someone who the president, in many ways treated like family. And uh, you may remember the day she left the White House where he brought her out and right. sort of gave her a moment uh, to be seen by the cameras. Uh, he felt great personal affinity for her. Jared Kushner talks about her expertise, her strategic thinking. Stephanie Grisham uh, talks about her quiet confidence and support of the president and that they are delighted to have her return. So we're just developing these details, but it comes at a critical time. Post impeachment and acquittal, at a time when uh, some of the strategic planning uh, for what can be accomplished in this final year, when you have many people who've peeled off and returned or uh, moved over to the campaign side, uh, there had been some talk about would there be a change uh, in some of the leadership within the White House. There had been rumblings about where does Mick Mulvaney stand, and officials say he is still the acting chief of staff. There have been questions about would someone like a Mark Meadows from Capitol Hill come over. And this news brings back into the fold someone trusted and yeah. well-known by the president uh, and someone who we have all dealt with over the last uh, several years. And uh, Hope Hicks' time in private life was relatively short. And now she's back, coming back to the White House and the spotlight that comes with that. That Kelly? is for sure. Kelly, really quickly here, just to be clear, she is not coming back in a comms role, a communications role. Correct. She's coming back in this more sort of broad advisory role, which is a little bit different than what she'd been doing before. Yes. And yeah. so uh, in many ways, we will not uh, see her interacting with the press in the mm -hmm. way that she once did. Uh, but it speaks to the level of trust the president has if she is going to be advising him uh, strategically. And I suspect she'll be one of those people with uh, frequent Oval Office privileges that the president can rely on sure. in trying to make decisions and to bounce ideas off. She, she was before. You see her next to Sarah Sanders there. Sarah Sanders tweeting just moments ago that she is thrilled to see Hope Hicks back at the White House. Kelly O'Donnell with that breaking news for us. Kelly, very interesting. Thanks for bringing that to us. Appreciate it. You bet. Thank you for checking out our YouTube channel. Why don't you subscribe? It's really easy. Just click on that button down there. And for more news from MSNBC, click on any of these videos here for the latest interviews and highlights. You can get more videos from MSNBC with our newsletters. Head over to msnbc.com newsletters to sign up.